What up? Welcome back to another episode of Podcast Crush. Real people, real topics, real talk. Now today, as y'all can see, I got on this vest. I got on this hat. My hair in a pony. It's all nappy. I'm looking fucked up. I don't got no makeup on. My lips dry. But the show must fucking go on. Chatty Patty Fridays. Let's fucking go. Now this is going to be a short show. But at the end of the day, I have to still give a show because the name of the show is Chatty Patty Fridays. So, we're going to get into the show. <laughs> First of all, what the fuck is going on with all this beef, y'all? Like, it's beef happening all over the place. Like, oh, we lied from the car, too. Anyway. It's beef. It's just beef after beef after beef. First, it was Cat Williams versus everybody. Then we had Megan versus Nikki. Then, you know, we just had that Kendrick versus Drake. Now we on Rick Ross versus the game. Mind you, now Ross, Ross has been um, dissing Drake with Champagne Moments. He made a diss track called Champagne Moments where he was calling out Drake about some shit. Um, You know, like this whole uh, battle between Drake and Kendrick Lamar, you know, Ross been instant himself in it. Every time Kendrick drops something, he'll say something to Drake, you know, making fun of him and shit like that. So... Like, now, the game came for Drake. I mean, I'm sorry. The game came for Ross. Uh, I mean, I don't even know why the game is dissing Ross. I know, I think it's over Drake. Um, in the song... He said, you a CEO, that was the last time you had keys on. And then he said, you stole your name. I checked your file. So, you know, Rick Ross got his name from the kingpin Rick Ross, Ricky Ross uh, from L.A., and he kind of like ran with it. I remember when Freeway Ricky Ross, the real Rick Ross, got out of prison, he was kind of upset with Rick Ross, the rapper, about using his name. Now, we all know that the rapper Rick Ross used to be a corrections officer at a prison. We've seen the footage. It's all on the net. You could go pull it up anywhere when he was in the academy marching in the academy. He said that he wasn't a CEO long. I don't know. But I'm really confused about this beef, y'all. Like, I haven't got a chance to dissect the beef between Ross and Game because I don't even know what it's about. So Rick Ross responded saying, niggas is starving with the Louis V bowl and spoon. Basically saying like, I could feed y'all niggas. You know what I'm saying? Basically saying that the game is reaching because he's starving. He trying, he looking for a, a fight so that he can make some money, get some, you know, get some stream and, and shit like that. And then the gang went and posted a Louis Vuitton punching bag and said, what is this battle? Now we, we battling Louis versus Louis. I hate these rap niggas is what the game said. So we just going to keep a close eye on that and wait and see if Rick Ross, uh, drops the response to the diss track that the game put out. Next, we got my bitch, Sukiana. Suki with the good coochie. Now, y'all know on the last, well, not the last one, because that one was the Kendrick versus Drake battle, but the one before that, Suki had got arrested, and I was like, what the fuck going on? But since the arrest, her and JT got into it. Well, JT called Suki out because Suki asked her to clarify what she talking about her and her song when she said, bitch with them cheap veneers, eating crab legs and broke her tooth. So Suki asked her to, you know, uh, clarify who she was talking to. JT went on a rant on Twitter or Instagram and was talking a whole lot of shit about 
Suki saying sore pussy, called her sore pussy, called her Flint water pussy, called her all type of crazy, crazy names, like snapped on her on Twitter. JT snapped on her on Twitter, then did a live on the gram snapping, and Suki said, just hold that thought, hold that motherfucking thought, okay? Hold that motherfucking thought. I'll be with you as soon as I get off this plane. I'm jumping in the booth, bitch. Hey, what Lotto say? Do you rap or do you yell? Because I can't tell. Get in the booth, bitch. Hey, and that's what Suki did. Suki went and got in the booth and dropped a diss track to JT titled Cocaine. Basically saying that JT was on a coke rant when she went on Instagram and um, on Twitter trying to talk shit. In the song, <laughs> in the song, this bitch Suki said, you ain't no scammer. You was still another TJ Maxx. <laughs> that ain't funny. Because, you know, they said, JT said that she was going to jail. She went to jail because she was scamming. But from what I'm hearing is that, bitch, you was still out of Macy's and TJ Maxx. Like, nigga, you wasn't scamming shit. You was scamming them clothes in your pants, bitch. That's what... <laughs> That's what Suki said. And then she said, y'all man was ready to eat this sewer pussy right through the pants, bitch. So, basically, what Suki is saying, bitch... You talking crazy, but your man want to eat this cat through these jeans, huh? Okay? She told her, I ain't arguing with a bitch who fucking punks. Bitches, you crazy? Now, that was the line for me. That got me right there. I said, oh, 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 this bitch didn't come to play. I said, oh, no, Suki ain't come to play. She ain't come to play. She also said uh, that uh, that JT been hating on Carisha since, they was, uh, since she was a baby. Ha, <laughs> ha. Like, you been hating on Carisha since she was a motherfucking baby, bitch. We we already know what you on. You hating on your homegirl, bitch. She called her a coke kid. She said that she's sniffing lines off niggas' asses. You just mad, you just mad your, your man with your thongs. Because we know Lil Uzi Burt walk around prissy as hell, bogan, with wearing Birkin bags and shit. That's why that line, I ain't arguing with a bitch that's fucking punks, is crazy to me. And Suki said, bitch, is you crazy if you think I'm about to argue with you when you sitting up fucking this gay ass nigga that's walking around on stage, shaking his ass and carrying a Birkin, bitch, goodbye. Okay, hang it up. <laughs> so to me, I ain't gonna lie. I want to see if Jay-Z gonna come back. J I said Jay-Z. JT gonna come back with a response. I no, they they might be trying to play it like JT is above this, but really she's not. You know what I'm saying? If you ask me, if you you the rapper, I don't go fuck who dissed you, bitch. She is Suki big enough to respond to. Suki ain't no lightweight. Like what? So let's keep our eyes out for Suki and JT. Let's see if JT come back with a response track to cocaine. All right. Now. Next up, young boy gets a um, hundred thousand dollar bill for the identity theft charges. Now I'm about to read what I got on young boy on Thursday, May 9th, local. Local Salt Lake City news outlet KUTV reported the latest update in the YB legal saga. Matter of fact, and shout out to Double XL for this uh for this article. Um, according to the publication, YB appeared in Cache County Court in Utah on Thursday morning for a hearing to address the charges for his April 16th arrest. The rapper has been in the Cache County Jail since he was apprehended after authorities raided his Utah home. During the court hearing, young boy's attorneys... Uh... During... Oh, during the court hearing, young boy's attorneys agreed to... For go a preliminary hearing in exchange for a deal where the rapper would get a hundred thousand dollar bill um yeah so um young boy 
uh, young boy was uh, arrested in Utah for a prescription drug fraud ring. Uh, yeah, this was a pretty large scale prescription for prescription drug for our ring and in and, and Utah. Now, what they was doing is they was calling the pharmacies acting like doctors, y'all, okay? They was calling the pharmacies acting like doctors, uh, using doctors' names and doctors' uh, information to obtain drugs. Now, we all know young boy have a drug problem. He's um, admitted to being on heroin, he's admitted to being on pills, like he has been battling his drug problem, so hopefully they just sent him to rehab, all right, so let's send up some thoughts and prayers to young boy, hopefully he get out soon, okay, so back to the Drake and Kendrick Lamar battle, Kendrick Lamar won, Okay, last week I did um, push-ups versus Euphoria. After the Euphoria, we had Drake dropping Family Matters. And then Kendrick came right back and stepped on that shit with Meet the Grams. Where he, in the song, it was like he was writing a letter to Adonis, which is Drake's son. Um... Uh, Drake's alleged um, estranged 11 year old daughter which you know Drake's team is saying isn't true uh, it was some also some allegations of Drake messing with young girls and being a pedophile and um, also him being on drugs and having some issues himself and then after that after Kendrick already annihilated dog, he came back the next day. I want to say not even 16 hours, maybe not even 12 hours. It might have been about 16, between 12 and 16 hours later. And he literally dropped Not Like Us, which is a West Coast beggar. Matter of fact, fuck all that. It's a worldwide beggar. That bitch, that Not Like Us, that motherfucker, they Not Like Us. They not like us. They not like us. Oh, my God. Nigga, the first time I heard that shit, nigga, I was up like, they not like us. Like, mm. And so, right after that, no, but not right after that, a couple days later on Sunday, Drake dropped the heart six. Okay. I think the next day, Drake dropped the heart six. And he basically was saying that the accusations was untrue and that, you know, he couldn't believe that they were saying this and that he didn't want to diss Kendrick no more because he seen where that shit was going because Kendrick said on Not Like Us, he had 10 records ready for Drake ass. Drake wasn't prepared. Drake underestimated this beef. He did not come prepared. See, when Kendrick was quiet for them 17 days, everybody was taunting him. Where's Kendrick? Where's the response? Where, where, where's him? The whole time, that nigga was planning Drake's fucking demise, okay? he that, That's what he was doing that 17 fucking day. That nigga was planning how he was about to shit on Drake. So he took all that long time to plan how he was going against his opponent. A lot of y'all niggas could take a, 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 a page out of Kendrick's book, okay? Um, that shit reminded me of some 48 Laws of Power shit, the way he did Drake ass. All right. Um, Drake is not the king of rap. It is most definitely Kendrick Lamar. Kendrick Lamar won that battle. I am going to go deeper into that battle. I'm going to do a whole breakdown of the battle um, at some point, all right? Because that was, to me, that's one of the best battles we've had in hip-hop of all time. Like, that shit was fire. That shit was dope. I was, like, sitting on the edge of my seat waiting to see what the fuck was going to happen. It was so fucking entertaining, um, Kendrick Lamar really delivered Drake. He came through because um, push-ups and Family Matters both are bangers. I mean, like, it is what it is. Like, I'm not going to even lie on Drake. Like, Drake, he might not be my fave or he might not be, like, the best rapper in the world to me, but he is Drake, all right? So, shout out to those guys for putting on a great, great battle for the, for the uh, hip-hop community, for 
all the hip hop heads, all the rap people, all the people who like love rap music like me, man, I like, man, this was like the best ever. Like I was so, like I was so tuned in. Like I couldn't even work last weekend. Like I was just like, oh my God, like, I couldn't believe what I was, what I was witnessing. Speaking of Drake, Drake security, earlier this week, Drake security got shot outside of the embassy, which is Drake's home in Canada. Um, it was some guys, it is a it is it was said, it was alleged that some guys were outside of Drake's gate making a ruckus. The security went out there to see what was going on and ended up getting shot in the chest. They had to uh, rush him to emergency and he had to go into immediate surgery. Um, he was in serious condition, but I'm assuming that he's fine now since we haven't heard anything else about it. Um, they were saying that the weekend and his manager had something to do with this. That was alleged. I don't know how true it is, guys. Don't quote me on that, but that's what I heard. And then a day or two later, another intruder tried to get into the embassy, but they had to end up putting their hands on the boy and getting him up out of there. He didn't get in, but he tried to intrude. I don't understand why so many people all of a sudden now they want to keep uh showing like all these people. Um, look at my hair, y'all. Oh my god, I look so ugly. But it's okay. I'm gonna be looking fine as hell on our next show. <laughs> or whatever I do next on the show, I'll be looking good. Anyway. Uh I don't know. Drake, Drake, uh, the embassy is public knowledge. Like, it's out there. Like, anybody could Google Drake house and it's going to pop right up. And from what my understanding that it is not in the gated community, if you go over there to Toronto, you could ride past Drake house. Um, Drake might need to up his security. Drake might need to sell that house and get another house. I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. Today, Meg dropped Boa. And it's trending on number one YouTube today. I spot I spice drop give me a light and cash dial dropped the video for the 10 cash commandments. Y'all go over um to their channels and check those out. Um, all three of the songs are fire. All the girls is girling, they doing their thing. Congratulations to Megan on her number one today. And that's gonna conclude Chatty Patty Fridays. For today, as y'all can see, because I'm at work and I'm not looking my best, but I still want to come and, you know, show out for my people because, you know, this is what we do up here at Podcast Crush. You feel me? So thank y'all for your time. Make sure y'all like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, um, comment below. Let me know what y'all think about any of the uh, topics I, I talked about today. Let me know what y'all thoughts are, what y'all thinking. Um... And make sure y'all connected with me um, on other social media. My Everything you need to know about me is in the description. And until next time, I holla at y'all. Peace.